it'll be equally lovely to be here in early June when I'm going to be here with my daughter Kate for a children's book she wrote, which I illustrated, uh, which just came out called No Go Sleep. But this, this was a return to an old form that I hadn't fooled with really since the 1950s when I worked for a cartoonist named Will Eisner on an adventure cartoon called The Spirit. And I hadn't worked in a old-fashioned comic book form full of realistic drawings and heavy shadows and uh, terrible events uh, since that time. But uh, when I worked for Eisner, I wrote his scripts and I did some layouts and things like that. And so I decided, I, because I had no time to really write something long for Kaylee, I would try to go back to my old comic book past, which I hadn't fooled with in a long time, many years. And I wrote this thing because it's a noir book. I wrote a piece called Boob Noir. <laughs> and it's a, a monologue with man, six pages of women ruminating in a monologue, not unlike a theatrical monologue, but walking on the beach. And he's saying, what now? He's walking right by the waves, by the water, and he's saying, what now? Too much confusion. How do I get myself into this? The main thing, how do I get myself out? But first, what do I do with the body? <laughs> He's been lying on my bedroom floor for two days, three days, really, three days? <laughs> three days walking up and down the beach on quite a lane. I've made things worse for myself, letting a lie there. Now they won't believe anything I say. Who would? And he keeps walking, just walking back and forth along the shore of the ocean. I'm not calling the police after I find a total stranger dead in my bedroom with a cord around her neck, naked, naked, a looker, and I never saw her before in my life. What stopped me from calling 911? I would have, I meant to, but something, something made me take a closer look. Looking down on her dead body, well, I could think of was feeling her up. <laughs> Mind you, only the boobs. <laughs> nothing, nothing else. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not a sicko. <laughs> Who would I be harming? <laughs> With evidence? What evidence? None that I could see. And I got close, down on all fours, next to her, right next to her. So if there was any evidence, believe me, I would have seen it. <laughs> lying, lying next to her on my side, not touching her, staring at her, that's all. I could have, I could have mounted her, but I didn't. I could have touched her anywhere I wanted. Anywhere. 